<laughs> we could do a whole new video on patio. What is patio news, Melissa? I know. What have you been up to? I don't know. Let me try that again. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot happening in Charlotte, especially over the last couple of months, so here's our quick version of what you need to pay attention to. Last weekend, we stopped by Tiff Streets in Waverly because they were holding their grand opening celebration. Tiff Streets is a warm cookie delivery baking company, and they were selling cookies for a dollar a dozen. And we got to meet the celebrity brand ambassadors, Brooklyn Decker and Andy Roddick. Brooklyn Decker is actually from Matthews, so she and Andy were stopping by her hometown to bring a piece of Austin, which is his hometown. That's where Tiff Streets is based. So you brought a box of cookies back to us in the office. Did you have a favorite? Yeah, so my favorite was chocolate chip. The snickerdoodle is also very good, but I knew that I would eat the whole box by myself if I did not bring them in and share them with you guys. So you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're in the Davidson area, a new urban winery just opened August 2nd, the Davidson Wine Company. So it's an urban winery, which I hadn't heard of before, but means that they don't grow grapes at their Davidson location, but they do make wine in-house. Very cool. Yeah, so definitely check that out if you're in the area. And you have to stop by Optimus Hall. There's a coffee shop, there's a Gelato Bar and Spindle Bar just opened on August 19th. That's the bar that serves the entire Optimus Hall. So those are the openings in Charlotte, but there's also been a lot of closings. Uh, one of the ones that a lot of people have been talking about is what's going on with Saucemans. So Saucemans' current location is closing, but they're moving to Sugar Creek Brewing. That's not all. The former pitmaster of Saucemans has decided that he's going to go his own way and he wants to start his own thing. It's going to be called Ed's Barbecue. He hasn't officially announced the location yet, but it's going to be close by to Sugar Creek. So a lot of people have been commenting on those stories for us. There's a lot of questions about what's going to happen to the Saucemans recipes and how the barbecue is going to taste at Ed's. That's going to definitely be something to stay tuned for. Another thing that closed was Basil Coffee. The so Basil Coffee closed down August 9th. It was in the Freemore West area near Pinkies and Rhino Market. It was one of the only black owned coffee shops in Charlotte, but the owner has said to stay tuned to his plans. And in more coffee news, the Sleepy Poet just quietly opened a new coffee bar inside of its store. So while you shop for antiques, you can grab a latte. Another thing that was huge news for Charlotte was the Amelie's move. Amelie's is moving its flagship location. So it's been located in Villa Heights since 2008, and it has decided to move one mile away. It's going to be about a quarter mile from the light rail station at 36th Street. And so you'll be able to walk there and get your macarons at 3 a.m. if you want. Well, also announced this month was Middle Sea Jazz is opening uptown. It's going to be a jazz and music venue. And with all the music venues that have closed lately, especially Double Door, the Middle Sea Jazz people said they're really excited to bring live music back to Charlotte. Where's it going? It's going to be on Brevard Street uptown, and it's going to have a full service restaurant nearby, so you'll be able to order food while you're there. 